Good morning, students. Now, for your fourth, at the fourth lesson, I will jump into there. So, little bit, I will revise the lesson. After that, the new one lesson is remaining last one. Stars and planets. So, that I will start. So, for the revision purpose, light chapter I will take today. In that light chapter, nothing is new. Only the few rules are there, few image formation, and few words are there that I will once again revise for your revision purpose. As we got the instructions from our coordinators, sir. First, I will uh, I want to take the revision. After that, the last remaining chapter I will take. So, any doubt from first of all from your side? Any doubt is there in the chapter, light chapter? Hmm. First of all, I said how the image formation will take place. How we will see the things. Sir. If any dark room is there, there if we will go and we have to find out the things, we will not get the things. Unless and until light will falls and then. There are the two sources of light, artificial and natural source of light. In the dark room, when daytime is there, you will open the windows and door. When the sunlight falls on the object, suppose in the dark room, objects are kept here. But we cannot find out where the objects are. When the sunlight or any source of light will fall on the object, it will reflect from there, it will reach to our eyes, sir. Then only we can recognize the things. That you understand? If daytime is there, then the light source is sun. But if night time in the day, night time, how we will see the object with the help of artificial source of light? Maybe you throw the light with the help of torch or any your mobile, candle, tube light or any other source of light. When you just switch on the sources of light, light falls on the objects. From there it will reflect to our eyes and we can see the things where we kept. So what is the necessary to see the objects? When the light will fall on the objects and it will reflect to us. So that you understand, then only in this chapter two things are laws of reflection. Reflection is the main thing and in your this class also in 8th standard, even in the higher classes, maybe in the graduation or post-graduation or whatever, there are the two laws of reflection. The same thing you have to follow all over the world. I mean in your higher classes, maybe you will go in the high school section, PUC and degree college, the same laws. So first you keep the mind clearly and to understand the things. Reflection is necessary to see the objects. Then what are the two laws of reflection? First, first you take the plane mirror. Mirror always you show with the help of these type of shaded so we can understand the side is polished and the reflection from this smooth surface. Before that I want to see, I want to explain regular and irregular reflection. Regular reflection and irregular. I will also understand the difference between these. Sir. Okay, once again I will repeat that. When the Surface is surface of the mirror is totally smooth. No breaks are there. Surface is well polished. So naturally, when light falls on the mirror, naturally it will reflect as it is properly. This is known as regular reflection. Here, two things are necessary. First of all, the mirror should be polished very well. And the clear image of the object we will get. But another mirror is there which is not polished very well. Or we can say it is a very old mirror. 15 years, 20 years back. Somewhere cracks are there. Understand? Somewhere polish is not there. So here if the 
Reflected rays are falling on these places where cracks are there are not polished. It will not reflect from that portion. Is it clear? If mirror is there inside you, when the light will fall on the mirror, then only it will reflect. But if mirror is not there, means in the sense it is cut and here. Break is there. Our ear polish is not a polish is gone. So how the rays will reflect from here? It is not possible to reflect. When the other rays will fall on the plane surface, then it will reflect from but from here it is not possible. So we will not get the clear image of the object. So it is known as irregular reflection. Here two things are there. First of all, mirror is not well polished. Second, we will not get the clear image of the object. So all of you understand the regular and irregular reflection? Now I will come to the point laws of reflection. Always for the light capture, whenever you are showing the rays, you should put the arrow mark. Compulsory, otherwise you will lose your marks because arrow will indicate the rays are coming from where. Source of light. Otherwise, just you will simply draw the diagram which rays is coming and which is reflected, we can't understand. So arrow mark is compulsory. Second thing for the diagram, you have to show the mirror with the polished surface. Suppose here is the, any one object is there. The rays are coming from the object. It is known as incident ray. Incident. Once again I am saying the ray which is coming from an object is known as incident ray. Then, from this, you put the center, put the, your protector here, 90 degree angle, remember this side, and you make one line that is known as normal. So, it is the center point. Naturally, the ray will fall on the mirror, it will reflect because another side is polished. The ray will not pass through that side, it will reflect. So we will show it here by this type of arrow. And this reflected ray is, we can mark it as a, as a reflected ray. So the ray which is coming from an object is known as incident ray. The ray which is reflected after striking the striking the mirror, it is known as reflected ray. Is it correct? Normal is the center point. So by these diagrams, we can say the first law of reflection, incident ray, normal and reflected ray are in the same plane. Is it correct all of you first law? No need to do the read continuously. Just to keep the diagram in the mind, you can understand. According to the first law, incident ray, reflected ray and normal should be at the same point, same plane. All of you understand the first law? Okay. Second law is there. Suppose this ray is there, normal is there. The angle, the angle is here. Angle between the R angle made by the incident ray is known as incident angle. It is denoted by small i. Incident ray M normal. The angle is known as incident angle. And the angle which is made by reflected angle is denoted by small r which is made by the reflected ray. Is it correct? Now, naturally, so you think of, you draw that incident ray, the ray is only the reflected, not the another ray is there. Understand that? So, the angle which is made by the incident ray should be or compulsory equal to the reflected angle. 
Because the same ray is reflecting, not another ray is there. Suppose I will draw only the one line here, that incident ray, that is the normal, then same ray is only will reflect. Other rays are not there. So naturally the angle will be equal to that. Is it correct? So this is the second law of reflection. Incident angle is always equal to reflected angle. Understand? Those who are having the plane mirror in the home, you can do the experiment in your home and you can enjoy. It. For your better knowledge, what how to do one two, three examples I will give you or two, three days I will say to how to do the and experiment and how you enjoy with your friends. Put one mirror on the plain sheet of paper. From your mother's purse or you will get the plain mirror. Understand? You keep here with the like that you keep the mirror on the plain paper with some support you keep here. Draw one line here in the center. Understand? Next. With the one incident ray you mark it with the two arrow. Understand? You will just you mark here one ray with two arrows. The same ray will you should reflect it on the another side of normal with the two marking. So you will understand that two marking on the ray, incident ray is reflected by the same two marking. So same ray is there. You can understand because your incident ray you mark with the two marks. So the two marks will be, you will get on the reflected ray. So you can understand the same ray is reflecting. Understand or not? Okay. Second thing you just put one incident ray here with the three circles. Understand? Here also you will say that near about the distance from the mirror, you will see the ray here with the three circles. So you can understand which ray you are incident making the same way is reflected on the another side of the normal. So incident angle if you want to measure, you can measure. And that experiment you can do very well. If anyone is having the plain mirror, you bring it. I will show in the classroom also. Third, okay. Third category, you make the incident ray here with the another type of marking. Suppose as a square you are making. Three squares are the four circles. So whatever the distance is there, you will get with the reflected ray with the same four squares. Is it correct? So you can understand here how much distance you are taking for the incident ray, the same distance you will get from by the reflected ray. So by this we can understand the incident angle is equal to the reflected angle. Both the laws are correct? Understand all of you? Now these are the main. After that uh, regular and diffuse reflections I explained earlier. Understand? Okay. Now the that multiple images. One more topic is there. Multiple images. Multiple image or reflection. So first of all, all of you understand the reflection. Now here what? One mirror is there. Here one object is there. So obviously you will get the image of these objects on the mirror. Okay. If I will keep one more mirror here. Then you will get the image here also. Okay. What happens in these cases? Uh, this object I will mark is as it is here. Uh, it will form an image on the mirror. Understand? Okay. Now what happens? These objects are this. What we can show? Image. Image of that uh, object, and we will get on that mirror. 
it will act as a object for the another mirror. Here it is not objective. Here is the image of an object. Image object I kept here. If mirror is there because image formation is depends upon the light from where. Suppose the light is coming from here, this source. So image formation will be on that mirror. If from here light is not there from this side, so you will not get the image on that mirror. Is it clear? How you will get the image? First of all, said when you when the light falls on the object, the light is coming from this side. Object is here, so you will get the image of the object on that mirror. Understand? But this image of an object will act as a object for the another mirror, and you will get the more than one image of an object. It is known as multiple reflection it depends how many images you will get is suppose sometimes the 3 4 5 sometimes 8 also it depends upon the angle on which you get the two mirrors so, suppose you adjust at the 60 degree you will get the number of images will be different it is not in your book but last year it was there if you want to know i will give the formula Depending upon the angle, how many and how much angles you are making by these two mirrors up, and then you will get the number of images. Sometimes three images, sometimes five also, eight also. So that is the multiple reflection. The image of one object will act as an object for the another mirror. So sometimes when you are going for the fair or any um, exhibitions, you are getting your images, more images you are getting. This is only the setting of mirrors uh, at different angles. Some in the temples also, when you are, when we are going, we are seeing the so many images of ourselves. Why? Only this is due to the reflection when the mirrors are set at different angles. So, multiple reflection also clear? Any doubt is there? So in the barber side uh, or parlor, uh, you are getting your backside portion also you can see. Why? Because of only the reflection. They will set the mirror on back side. So your well, reflection you will see in the front side. Kaleidoscope I said to make, uh, make the three strips up, fix in a proper way, arranged in the different in the hard board and you do just Close the mouth, make the hole here, place the few colored bangles pieces there. You just roll, you can see the different type of patterns in the kaleidoscope. Three mirrors will set with the help of the cello tape. You just make the tube like structures insert in the hard border, which is little bit bigger than that. Close one mouth there, and the another mouth you make one hole, and under inside that you few. Bangles pieces, colored bangles to keep, you just roll and you will see the different geometrical designs. So that is kaleidoscope. Understand? If any doubt is there, any time you can come and ask. So that is only for the reason and purpose I am saying. Then structure of an eye. I said our eyes is a oval shaped structures. Outer cover is filled with the fluid. Fluid is a transparent liquid which protects our eyes from interior. Inner, inner eyes is very delicate. The liquid protects our eyes from the injury. It is oval in shape. Line is what is the ear. Eyes will reflect from the retina is there. Retina to the messages will go to the brain. Sensory cells are in short I am saying because everything I explain in detail just for the reason purpose I am explaining. Here now cells are there. So many now cells are there in the eyes. They will receive the messages and they will send to the brain. But at the junction of here retina, and here 
there is no sensory organ sir so the messages cannot received by that particular area and it is known as blind spot why it is known as the blind spot because no sensory cells are there understand us sometimes you bring the things are uh, one uh, blind spot experiment activity is there here you just take the paper make three four design and then you just bring near the but near your eyes and you want to see but somewhere you will not see the things sir are spots sir why because from that now sir where sensory cells are not there the messages will not send to the brain and we cannot respond that particular area is at the junction only only here it is known as the blind spot so details i am not saying because everything i explained in my regular class then something about the care of eyes as all of you know it's a sensory organ and it is a delicate organ we should take care of the eyes we should not for the few things for better of your eyes first of all you should eat the foods which are rich in vitamin a because vitamin a is necessary for the eyes in which fruits you will get the vitamin a which vegetables anyone can guess everyone knows sir nowadays the best source of vitamin a is the carrot hmm green vegetables sir those who are not eating up to that today onwards you should eat daily one carrot for your better eyes if you want to get higher education sir first of all you should be healthy understand sir so vitamin a is rich in the green vegetables carrot first of all citrus food so nowadays everywhere oranges are there so you should include in your diet second thing wash your eyes with the clean water always third whenever you are reading you should keep the distance at least of 1 feet from your eyes to book fourth never you read in the dark room where light is not sufficient understand because it will strain your eyes then again if any doubt is there any problem is there you just go to the doctor sir and whatever they will advise you should do according to the doctor sir if they are advise to take the glasses sir you can take it wear it properly clean it properly again any doubt in that lesson no so can i you will be to give the informations about the last lesson the stars and planets sir i think you read about the stars and planets in your last classes in social also so first of all i want to say the stars and planets lesson is mainly you studied in the social subject but now this year they include in the science so it's my duty to explain her but here one thing i want to say like the physics sir nothing is to explain here only the theoretical knowledge is there the planets are there the planet atmosphere of the planet is like that they are this much distance away from the sun they are revolving around the earth uh, they are rotating on its axis everyone knows this sir uh. only the only theoretical knowledge is there like in the physics chapter like force friction sound whatever i explained uh, it is not like that anything or any other activity to explain understand just like i just like i explained the laws of reflection because it has a basic certain basic things are there that i want to clear and explain to solve your problems or to understand you but in this stars and planets in nothing like this activity only theoretical knowledge is there that also i will cover in the next two days three days i will, I will get the class up today just the general idea after that tomorrow our next the notes understand okay 
First of all, what is the stars and planets? When in the night when we will go outside of the house, on the type we can see the different types of things. The twinkling stars, moon, sun, and other also the dark spots on the sky. These are something, but um, first of all I will not say what is, but something is there. Something is twinkling in the sky. Some big stars are also there, some small are also there. We can see the sun in the sky in the morning. In the night we can see the moon in the morning. Apart from that, certain, certain different objects are different shapes we can see in the sky. Okay. There is a difference between the sky in the cities and the sky in the village side. Why it is the difference? When you will go a little bit far away from the from the big cities, uh, you will get the clear sky and in that you will see the so many twinkling stars in the sky and very clear sky. So can you anyone tell me why you will get the clear sky in the village side? No air pollution. Yes, very good. No echo is there, air, air pollution is not there, some bright lights are not there in the big cities. In the malls, uh, in the street side, so many lights is there. So it will reflect. Uh, pollution is too much. Uh, dust particles is too much. Even in our closed room, just two days I will close the room. It is totally inside. But we will get the layer of dust in my table. Understand? Uh? So in cities, too much dust is there. In atmosphere, also too much dust is there. But in villages, the atmosphere is clean. No bright light is there, no equal, no sound is there, disturbance is not there. So we will get the clear picture of the sky and other objects which are present in the sky. So the study of these stars, planets and other objects we can say is the, what the name is given to that branch? Astronomy. Understand it? So when we will study about the stars, planets and other celestial bodies, the branch is known as astronomy. The sun, stars and other things are generally known as the celestial bodies. There are 8 planets, earlier the 9 planets were there, but in 2000, in which year the Pluto is removed from the solar system? 2006 or 7. Okay. But at least you know that Pluto is removed from the solar system in 2006. Sir. Okay. You can come and tell me tomorrow. But all of you know that 8 planets are there. Which is the biggest planet, the smallest planet which is nearer to the sun, which is far away from the sun. That tomorrow in my class I will take. That is only the theoretical knowledge. Nothing is there. And how the distance is measured, the planets from the sun, it is measured in the terms of light year. The unit for that it is light year. One more thing, moon is rotating on its axis. Moon is there, on its axis it will rotate. It will rotate on the, on its axis also it is rotating and on the earth is also rotating. And this is full inch on the earth. Sun is there, then tomorrow I will explain. Don't get confused. That one by one I will give. So, all of you understand what is the celestial bodies, what is the astronomy, the study of all these, are. and one more, one more thing that is the phases of the moon. Main here the strength is given the phases of the moon. All of you know about the full moon day and new moon day. When the Purnima will there or in Kannada what you say? Puni. Uh, I know, don't know the Kannada. But that, uh, that day we can see the full moon. After that day by day its size is decreasing. And the new moon. New moon is also known as the crescent moon. After that again the, the size will increase. 15-15 15, 15 days time is there. So, lunar eclipse will occur on the full moon day. 
Depending upon the shape of the moon, there are so many festivals we are getting. All of you understand? Because we know that Guru Purnima and other big big Sharad Purnima in Kannada, I don't know, but a few festivals will occur only on the full moon day. Whereas the Eid and others is also depends on the moon shape. When the Eid chant will come, the next day they will celebrate the Ramzan or Eid. Understand that? So the moon shape is also a very important for different seasons and different festivals. Some festivals will celebrate now the latest, uh, now in a few days coming that Sankranti. It is also on the festival of harvesting somewhere in the Punjab. They are will say, give the different name in northern India, they will give the different name. But that is also all our depends upon the moon. Or some festivals also depends upon the sun. When the six month sun will change its, uh, we can say the Dakshinayan, Uttarayan in Kannada, I don't know, but this is also our basic. Our the Hindu culture is based on this. Even in the Muslims also, they depends upon the Eid chant. When they will see the chant next year, they will celebrate the Eid. So that uh, topic or that lesson tomorrow I will take. If any doubt is there, you can ask. Because now time is less and I cannot complete one topic also. So main is the different phases of moon, astronomy and that all the planets. So, again any doubt is there? In light chapter, so in light only luminous objects, non-luminous objects, everything you know. Don't bother about the question answers, only the objectives are there. Luminous objects are those which can produce their own light. Non-luminous which will shine with the help of other light source. Moon is not having their own light. It will shine with the help of sun's light. Yes, very good. At least you know that. So it is luminous and non-luminous objects. Again, we can say illuminated objects. Sir. This is about mainly I explained the light chapter. If anybody is having the plain mirror, you can bring it tomorrow. I will show the experiment. Other, the otherwise, you can do a coma. So, very easy experiment and you can enjoy with your friends. Again, any doubt? Okay. So, now the planets and tomorrow I will take it. Two days I will get the class up. I will complete the lesson. After that, daily revision, I will start from the first lesson. Describing motion is not in your portion. That is in excluded by the government also. So you don't worry about that lesson. Only six chapters are there from the course. After completing the lesson, till then you will get your course after four test. So after that, again, if I will get the class, I will start the revision from the course lesson. You also read out physics portion is very less. And whatever the examples I am giving, that also all are related with your daily life. Understand? You are understanding the lesson or not? So, you in the, I think physics is very easy subject, sir. We are not giving answers, is there? Each lesson is containing only 12 to 15, 12 to question answers. That also are very small. Never I am giving the big answers also. My main aim to Stress on the explanation. Two, three times I am explaining the each and every experiment. It's the concept should be clear because as you will go in the higher classes, the concept, the basic concept, if you know very well, you can learn very well in the higher classes. Because the same laws, the same rules you will get in the higher sections, but little bit details. Force also the same thing, balanced force, unbalanced force of Muscular force, different force and then friction lesson. Too much I explained about the sliding and static and rolling friction. I think those who attended the class, you know very well. So same thing you will get in the higher classes, but let me be till Oh. So understand? No problem? Thank you.
Any doubt is there? All of you are ready to come to school daily. You got bored and homework. What? A, don't want to sit at home. You want to find sir. Oh, that also nice. Depends on your parents' choice. You are welcome to school. Thank you. 